Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. Octane 2019 from Moto has a handful of nice CDs in it. And here are three nice little new features. First of all, thank you to Rankin Studio for making this sweet uh, dinosaur skull scan available for download from Sketchfab. So go to Sketchfab if you haven't. There's all sorts of cool stuff there. All right, so what can we do in Octane Studio 2019 that makes it a little bit nicer to use? First of all, you can scrub replicators. So previously, if you had some replicators in the scene, I've got some bubbles coming up the scene. You see them here, but you don't see them over here. I actually have to refresh the scene to load those new replicator positions in, and there I've got some bubbles. Um, what's nice about 2019 is I can go over here to my kernel, and under um, the animation tab, I can click refresh replicators when scrubbing timeline. And now when I scrub the timeline, those replicators are moving up. So that's pretty nice. Secondly, while we have the bubbles in the scene here, let me bring up my schematic and uh, grab my bubble texture. So there is a type of refraction called thin wall refraction. So if I take my gloss material and I switch that to, we'll just replace it, convert it to a specular material. And what we have here is what looks like just glass spheres, right? Like thick crystal balls, not actual bubbles what we want is like a thin wall refraction right so the little thin wall of material not just a solid material of glass you can see that here in the specular material it's under thin wall i can press that here and we lose that sort of crazy refraction look and then you can add like a, a film width or something like that and boom we've got some nice bubbles in fact i'll change my depth of field on this guy so we get a nice little shot of it or maybe this guy in the front here so that's a nicer way to do bubbles and this is also on the universal material so if i again convert this to uh, the universal material um, and then let's just unplug a couple of things let's turn a uh, albedo to zero and transmission to one and again we've got these sort of glass spheres in fact i'll turn uh, roughness back to zero and then let's just um, under transmission type here and send a checkbox on this one it's under transmission type we can go to thin wall and there we go and just maybe bump up the uh, uh, index of the film and the maybe a little film width and then we've got some bubbles again so um, that's thin wall transmission versus sort of a thick material all the way through and lastly we can um, use image sequences really easily now so while I'm here let me just bring in my floor material floor material has this uh, cool sort of granite there downloaded from uh, uh, Kixel uh, Megascans again uh, love Megascans so here's an image sequence in After Effects, right? Just a bunch of colors or whatever. Back in Moto, they used to be kind of a pain to do in Octane. In fact, I'm not even sure you used to be able to do it. Um, here, I can just take my image sequence and drag it into uh, the schematic. And then there's a channel on an image sequence called Pattern. Drag that in. And then you just hook Pattern up to File Name. And there you go. Uh, one thing to note is if you actually, let me keep this open here. If I change the frame here, you'll notice that this is, you know, the floor is, is changing. Uh, over here, the image sequence is changing, but it's not updating in the floor. And there's a couple ways you can, you know, reload the texture like that. Um, actually, that may not work. You may have to actually refresh the entire scene to get this update, uh, which is unfortunate. I'd like to be able to just refresh a material. One way you could do that is you can go over to um, your kernel and you could say reload materials each frame. Unfortunately, I mean, that works, but if I scrub uh, the timeline, it actually reloads like every material, I think, in the scene <laughs> for the new frame. So it does update the image sequence, um, but I'd like to just be able to have that on a material by material basis, you know, reload each frame. I'm not sure where you put it. I don't know if you could put that on the... Um on the override or not but anyway so you can reload uh, or you can do image sequences in octane really easily now as well and uh, let's just take one more second to appreciate this awesome looking t-rex head and then actually i'm not even sure that's a t-rex that might not be a t-rex that uh can't remember the name of it some sort of theropod i'm positive that's a theropod if i remember my dinosaurs so all right that's it thank you Yum, yum!